Hi guys and welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie where Coach Dad teaches me drills and I teach you drills. If I can do it, then you can do it. Today we're at the driving range again after a lot of course vlogs, as, as you guys may know. Um, if you haven't watched those, go and check those out. They'll be in the eye. And um, today we're going to be trying to um, improve the not so good shots I've been getting on the golf course. I've, I've been getting lots of good scores, but I've still had some duffers, so let's get into it. Okay, thanks Cassie. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed all the course vlogs um, and enjoyed our 100th um, special Crazy Golf one last time. Um, we're back here in hot, sweaty Taiwan. It's really hot today. Um, today we're going to be working on something that Cassie had a problem with and we've been working on in the past when we've been working on the, the takeaway and we're going to try to work on the fact that Cassie tends to open her wrists and a lot of us do this our wrists work overwork too much we want to try and remove that so today we're going to be doing a drill which um, we borrowed from uh, Mike Malaska Golf a really good golf site and it was looking at how the arms are moving and we're going to work on that with Cassie to see how it helps her. People don't know how to, the arms are work together, how the arms are moving. And, um, and as a consequence, they use their wrists. But really, we're trying to not have this wrist turn. And so if you're not doing it with your wrists, where are your arms moving and how are they moving? Well, basically, it's um, firstly, to be able to swing fast, you've got to be able to swing within the shoulder joints, the shoulder sockets, so you need to be able to swing loosely. We don't want to be moving our shoulders too much. Our swing is basically with our, most of the speed is with the arms, and we've done that on many videos in the past. And we've talked about folding, folding the elbow in, but we're gonna to practice today about actually feeling that elbow turning in and turning out. The wrists do not move that way. This is what we're trying to avoid. We want the elbow to turn out, and the wrist hasn't moved at all. So we're turning out, in, out, in, out, in. And you've got to be able to control that, because when you come back, this is the out, where we fold in, and this is, and when we come back, we go that way, it's the in but we're not turning our wrists. So the first drill, we're gonna do it with both arms, is just Cassie in her posture. Gotta make sure we don't just stand up do this. Stay in your posture, arms hanging beneath your shoulders, and just turn the, the elbow out, in, out, in. And the same with this side. Out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in. It looks simple, but it's really important that your body start, your arms start in this way to get the swing going in the right direction. So Cassie's going to have a go at this. Not the wrist, that's it. Okay, so the second part is now we're going to do the opening but folding it into the to the right side, like we go to the L in our L to L drill. So it's going to go fold and open, close, open, close, open, close. Same this side, open open and it really brings the elbow into the side and just pulls the swing right round on the circle so open open back open and as we do this what you'll find is your body as you go around the right shoulder will go up as you go this way bringing the left shoulder down open back to there and as you go the other way your right shoulder will drop and your left shoulder will come up so it's open, back, open, back, open, back, open, back. We're feeling that 
elbow doing the turning. So this is a really good exercise also to help you feel the muscles working properly. Okay, see how Cassie does. And then turn up. In, that's it. Show us down the line so we can see clearly what you're doing. Okay, one thing that you be careful when you're practicing this, don't just do your hands up those and turn. We're actually turning and it should come up at the L as you turn the elbow out, not up and turn. Okay, so it's hinge, elbow, will turn you around there, not, not doing it like that, that's not gonna work. And so the next stage, so we've got this, we've got the turning in, out at the elbow, not the wrist, so then we've got the going up with this shoulder as we turn to there, we go up with this shoulder as we turn there. Now we just want to make sure the wrists hinge correctly. So we've done lots of videos on wrist hinge and the wrist should be hinging up. So as we turn, that thumb will be pointing up, not twisting the wrist. So if we're twisting the wrist, we'll see the thumb turn and it'll drop that way. So it'll be open, that thumbs up. As we do this, you can feel the turn of the elbow wants to push your elbow into your body, which is good, which means we're not doing our arms too, waving them around the place. So you feel the, the move is starting from this turning of the elbow, turning there. And this side, We've hinged, when we get to here, the hinge is gone. Turn the elbow out. The thumb is still pointing upwards, and then the hinge back at the end. So it's like this. Out, out. The thumbs are pointing up here. We come down to here. We've let the wrist drop as we come into the bottom of the ball. And as we come out here, the wrists are pointing up. And really, the, the, the wrists are just doing this with the motion of the circle. We're not turning. So the club head will stay on a, nine, a right angle to our swing, like that, not that, not that. So as we go back, the club face will stay 90 degrees to our, our circle, our line there. And as we come through this way, because we're just releasing the, the hands that way, it will continue going at 90 degrees around the other side. So we've got great control of the club head and we're not trying to manipulate it. Okay, see how Cassie does. Good. Good, you're feeling the elbow turning outwards, that's it. And the shoulder should be going up, the other one should be going down. Okay, show us line, down the line. Back a bit straighter, and arms hanging. Okay, let's do it with a club now. Okay, so we've got a big club here, so you can see the club face turning or not. And if the club face turns, it means you're twisting your wrists. And basically, what we're doing with the swing is um, we'll be lifting up and down with the hinge, out. And you can see the club face follows 90 degrees to the swing um, plane. And on this side, does the same. So when we put the hands together, we're really going around our swing in that nice circular motion. And the fact that this is turning, it really brings the club round the body this way. And lots of people, they're good at this side, but they lose it that side, they kind of go down the target line. 
So this really brings it back around the circle the other way. So it should be okay. Let's have a look, Cassie. Okay, good. Okay, so we're doing this in a slowish sort of swing. We're not trying to go full speed and we're not using our body too much. We're just practicing that swing we've just done in, in sections and our arms have been trained to make the right moves. So it's going to be back. This elbow is going to open. The shoulder's going to go up. This one's going to come down. And then we come back into the ball, and it'll be the other way around. This shoulder down, this shoulder up. It should look something like this. Okay, that came off really crisp. Now I want to make sure I get the wrist up and down as well. Okay, and those swings which are really just arm sort of swings, not too much body, so we're going 150 with my 7 iron, which is about 5 or 6 yards shorter than my full normal shot. So you don't lose any power even doing just a simple slow motion drill like this. Let's see how Cassie does with her 7 iron. Okay, so Cassie's going to hit a few. We've gone to voiceover because we turned the fan on because of the heat. That one she just hit there was beautiful, 100 yards, effortless, and controlling the club head, not opening up. And here's another good one. Using the swing we've been working on. This one, she opens the face of the club very much at the beginning. Actually controls it, gets it back on target. But I'm just explaining to her now that we've got to make sure we don't open those wrists. And there's another good one um, straight down the middle. And when we are not manipulating the wrists and letting the club swing as we've been practicing, these were all very straight shots and um, really much improved. Well done, Cassie. So we've got two England vlogs to come and a compilation of good shots from me in England. So watch it, everybody. It's brilliant. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications to get an email every time we post on Wednesdays and Mondays. Um, we hope you've enjoyed our, our special videos and course vlogs that we've had recently. And please stay tuned for our new ones. Bye.